My name is Katie Otters. I'm running for Senate District 26. I want to apologize first and foremost for my attire. I came straight here from knocking on doors and people are <laughs> fired up and fed up. I'm out there today, 50 doors, and this is all people wanted to talk about is this issue. So I want to let you know that what I feel we really need to do is we do not need to have a judicial system appointed by the legislature. We need to return the balance of power in this state. At the federal level, our forefathers knew that the executive branch should appoint with advice and consent, and that is exactly what we need in this state. If we don't want to have similar things, not just this issue, but similar things moving forward. So I am on the ballot, but I will be there tomorrow because I believe that the people of this state, as well as the candidates, have been disenfranchised by this. So I will be there at 10 o'clock fighting for all of those who didn't make it on the ballot because it's the right thing to do for you. And that's what I'll do every day in this state. I'll be fighting for you. What I'm going to ask is that you fight for me. I am on the ballot. Yes, I need your vote. There are mistruths also that have been coming out this week, and I want to go ahead and lay, that, lay those out. One of the gentlemen running against me circulated an email to most of you in the room saying that D.D. Vaughters is only is a business owner who owns a franchise, therefore follows a manual to run her business. That's misleading. What he failed to let you know is I've also owned another business since 2003. I am the business mind behind my husband's medical practice. And we have a very successful single doc medical practice in a day and time where single docs no longer make it. And it's because I've been doing the business and he is a wonderful physician. So it's easy to do the business in behind that. So do not listen to misconceptions that is below the belt politics and it is unacceptable. What happened this week is unacceptable and it is time for us, we the people, to take back the state, the state and say, we're not gonna take it anymore. Thank you. <laughs>